Hey man, it's your buddy Bud. I got a video we need to do here right fast. I got a friend of mine online asking about why his brakes are dragging. And it just so happens he did a mud race last weekend, right? So, I mean, it stands to reason he's got something in there probably from the mud race, right? So what I want to explain is what I have found on multiple occasions when your uh, wheel is dragging. The first thing you need to do when you're trying to diagnose it is get a nice long flat blade screwdriver and squeak your brake pad off of the rotor, okay? You just get in there and you just wiggle it in, long flat blade, get in there, pry it off just a millimeter, it doesn't take a whole lot, right? Nice long screwdriver, get in there and see if it spins good then, right? That'll tell you right then, is it axle? Is it the way your pinch bolts are? Is it your forks, are they aligned? This one hasn't been touched at all and it spins that good right we always expect them to spin nice and easy like that and they should but what happens when you get in a mud race is if we can imagine this would be like the bore of the caliper okay and in the bore of the caliper you have the piston of the caliper and the piston is what pushes on the pad and the pad is what wears out but what happens in a mud race is you go slamming down through ruts and everything else and just there's a mess and everything's going everywhere and here, let's just say this is your piston right here, right? Shameless plug. <laughs> so here's your caliper bore. Here's your piston, okay? And fluid pushes on this side. When you pull the lever, the fluid goes in here, pushes this out, and squeezes your brakes, right? That's pretty easy to, to digest right there. Well, here I put a rubber band on here, okay? That rubber band, amazingly, is actually a pretty good representation of what's in that caliper. There's what's called a square seal. That's what keeps the fluid in there and lets it build pressure. It's a square seal, not an O-ring, okay? So that's square, this is kind of rectangle, but it still represents it really well. It sits on there like that, okay? Seals that fluid in there to the, to the caliper, the piston to the caliper seal, it's square. So what happens is, if we can imagine that square seal inside there, that is not square at all. I am a terrible artist. That's why I'm an electrician, not an artist and motocrosser. Square. Let's square that up a little bit so it looks a little better. Okay? So what happens is that's sitting in that bore in there. And that square seal, when you push the lever and push that piston, what happens is it becomes tilted like this. Okay? I'm not sure if everybody can see that, so let me color that in. That's why your finger's on it, okay? And this piston will travel in like that while you're pulling the lever, all right? Then when you let go of it, it acts as a spring, okay? And when it unloads, it goes back to the square shape, okay? So what happens is, in this mud race, your caliper's here, your piston's here, you've exposed this area to mud, and it has seeped in this way, Okay, and one tiny little tidbit on this square seal will make it to where this process doesn't work properly. And it'll go out, but it won't spring back free. So what needs to happen is, you disassemble everything, get, you know, brake cleaner. You could get any kind of brake cleaner. Take your caliper all apart, push your brake lever a couple of times, and get that to expose, not the square seal, you want to leave it in there. I mean, it's in a groove in there anyway. You can't just make it come out. It's in a groove, but you want to expose as much of your piston as you can. And they usually have a nice, good color to them. They're usually coated, I think, with some kind of uh, temperature, real smooth coating. And what you want to do is you want to expose as much of that piston as you can, get a nice rag, and rub that piston clean with brake cleaner. Then you want to take quality brake fluid on this outer surface, okay, and take your finger, dip it in there, rub it around that piston, okay? And then take and push that piston back into the caliper and it's gonna take that fresh, man, I hope those colors work out where you can see this really well. But so we've all, we've cleaned this, we've re-lubed it, and then what we do is we push it back through, right? Boom, like that. Now that rolled and a square seal inside your caliper is not gonna roll. It's gonna stay in there and it's gonna slide properly, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take that fresh fluid, you're going to try to clean that square seal so that it can be a square when it's let go and it can be a, uh, somebody else knows what that's called. What is that? That is a, uh, uh, I'm having a loss for words. That is a rhomboid? 
Shit, I think it's, I mean, whoops. I think that's a rhomboid. I didn't mean to cuss. Uh, my bad. Anyway, acts as a spring, right? We get the gist of all this, right? So take apart your calipers, press the lever a couple times, get it to expose your piston really well. And if it pops out, that's really no big deal, right? It'll pop out. You'll look in there. You'll see that seal. You can take your finger and wipe that bore out. Fluid's going to come out, of course, because you have brake fluid on the back side of this. Okay, so then if it does come out, clean it real good. Clean that piston up real good. Clean the inside of that bore up real good. You can even take that square seal out. Clean it up real good. And then coat all that with brake fluid again. Coat all this with brake fluid again. It's, it's, it's a tight fit when you put that back in there. Tight fit, put it back together. And then just bleed the ever-loving pee out of them brakes again. Get all that air back out of there. And a really good bleeding fashion, a really good way to do it, is to push that piston out an extra amount without it being put together and then push it in there and get that stroke and let it push all that fluid back up to the top. Your lever only moves a tiny, tiny tenth of a cc. This will move multiple cc's in and out and move a lot of liquid and a lot of air out of the way. So anyway, quick tech tip. I'm at six minutes. I really wanted to keep that short. Sorry about dropping that S word right there. I don't mean to do that. I wanna keep everything I do as kid friendly as possible. I'm a family oriented guy. I don't mean to, to say that it slipped. I apologize. Have a great evening.